Hello everyone, this is Mike Glover with another video to help you get tweaking with your tweaker. This go round, we will be covering the easy to use and user friendly software Calidit. One of the first things to note is the use of tooltips. These will be displayed whenever you place your mouse cursor over an object, a button, uh, input field, uh, selection field. It will give you a brief description of what, what its purpose is. Before you can begin tweaking your tune, you need to load a calibration in the Calidit. For most users, this will begin with reading the EEK to load a copy of the stock calibration. You have other uh, options, uh, calibration stored on your local drive, email attachments, uh, reading the EEK, uh, reading the tweaker. Uh, let's walk through a few of these options. Uh, I'm going to read uh, an A9P. Switch the strategy to A9P. There's the data. Tell you that it's read from the EEK. I'll read from the tweaker. It says uh, A9L loaded on it. it. Tells you that you read from the tweaker. You can drag and drop. Uh, A9L. Tells you the file location as your source. Um, if you want to open up multiple, you can always right click and open. You can double click again. If your file associations were not set up correctly when the uh, software was installed, or if they become uh, corrupted or um, changed for some reason, uh, and you're getting um, an error like this, or this, when trying to open a uh, cal calibration file, then um, you can correct this by going to Opens With, select Program from the List of Install Programs, and you should have this displayed. You can double click it, or you may need to browse and go to our install folder and select Calidit here. And at that point, you should be able to open it by double clicking, drag and dropping, so on and so forth. Now that you have a calibration loaded into CalEdit, you're going to want to make some basic changes and save that file. So, once you make a simple change, this checkbox will be enabled and denotes that you have modified the calibration. While that checkbox is checked, any rights to the tweaker will only include the data that has been changed. I use this a lot in vehicle while data logging, making quick changes and seeing the results immediately. Now clicking on this, save calibration to disk, we'll open up a save as dialog and you can type in your file name. I use this format uh, for my my basic calibration with the minimum changes made for uh, a particular combination and then I build on that with uh, uh, subsequent modified calibrations. Um, many times I'll go into the tuning notes and put in uh, uh, details regarding what I've modified And when you save that and reload it, those comments are there, so you can refer back to it and see what you've what what your modification history has been on that file. 